Hey guys, welcome to the channel and to the second episode of the Jack 130 body build. So, in the first episode, I completed the engines and I uh, dry fitted the rear fuselage. Uh, in this episode, I have completed that. So, I have uh, now um, completed the rear fuselage. I have completed the undercarriage, both the main, main wheels and the nose wheel, uh, so to speak. And I have completed the uh, cockpit tub uh, and mated the cockpit with the front fuselage. And the two parts have been put together, so basically I'm on the second page here. Um, I haven't done the, the ordinance yet, I will do that last thing, I think. And I have also added the uh, windshield, just to protect the, the head-up display and all the small parts that are, are there, because they are very frag fragile. And I have made the um, main wheels and, uh, of course, the nose wheel.
So welcome back. Uh, this is uh, the progress right now uh, and uh, it's been a very busy week. Uh, I've been working a lot of this on, on this and I'm very pleased with the progress and the kit so far. Uh, there are basically only two things that I have struggled with or had any issues with and one thing is the uh, let me show you the heat shield or heat plate on the um, exhaust um, this curved surface here is built up of see if I can get it in focus it's built up uh, made from three different parts so there is two seams and uh, I had an idea that I should use uh, CA glue as I usually do for uh, covering the seams but the problem is that uh, that glue is very hard so it's it will be really tough to uh, to sand that down uh, in, in that sort of curved uh, area uh, because I cannot use a normal sanding stick instead I have to yeah do something else I don't know <laughs> I'll probably come up with something so maybe that wasn't uh, the smartest move to uh, to use uh, CA glue for that. Um, if maybe it's better to use something like uh, like this uh, as a sort of water uh, based um, product that can be sanded, and it's it's also easy to form the the surfaces with uh, with. It, uh, <coughs> um, cotton bud with um, with some water on. So uh, okay, so we uh, that is a <laughs> that is a um, suggestion for for someone that is building this. Uh, that uh, uh, maybe there is a better way of doing it than using uh, some hard um, glue like CA glue for this. Uh, I also had a little bit of, of an issue with uh, IP cover. Uh, see if I can. Uh, it um, the instructions are a bit vague. I can show you. It's not. <clears throat> it's not really clear exactly where these parts meet meet up and there are no real um, guides that um, that show you where it will, where the location is there are no location pins that are, are, uh, are in the right positions so I glued it in the wrong way and then when I tried to um, to put the uh, front fuselage halves together uh, I had a collision so I had to pry that loose again and uh, put it in a in a better position <coughs> uh, also this part here uh, this one I uh, <coughs> decided not to use it I, I think this is a counterweight or, or a weight nose weight to uh, to avoid uh, tail sitting, uh, but instead I was I used um, steel shots like this uh, and ordinary PVA glue um, because I wanted to add some more weight to be absolutely sure that they, it wouldn't tail sit. So um, apart from that. I have a PE set that is, I'm, I'm not using all of the parts here, uh, actually the sm some of the smallest part I have, uh, I have ignored those because uh, um, I, I think the cockpit is, or the, or the ejection seats are busy enough. Uh, there are also a couple of small parts that could be used on the on the fuselage. I'm not sure if I'm going to use them actually. I, uh, that depends a little bit on how they how it look when uh, because I don't want to mess up the surfaces or or 
put something on that is uh, out of scale too much or looks weird. Uh, so uh, so maybe I, will, I I don't know I, maybe I will use them but I don't I don't think so I think I want to have it quite clean so without too much uh, stuff that's going on on the on the nose cone. Uh, the, the mirrors and stuff that uh, in the cockpit, I will probably use them though. And um, yeah, I think that's the only thing that I can show more is are the these are the um, the wheels, and I think they came out really nice. So. Um, Apart from that, I think that uh, the build is going, going on uh, really good. I uh, had a good progress and it uh, has been fun because there are the, the fit is really good and uh, it looks like the the uh, sort of advanced engineering uh, solutions that uh, Svesta has chosen. They uh, it's uh, actually working. So, um, so I'm very pleased with this. Um, I have I have masked the inside of the of the air scopes because I have um, um, I want to main I have a a silver or a bare metal uh, stripe on the inside and I want to preserve that uh, when I paint the outside. So yeah, here you can also see the the. Um, the wheelbase and I think they look nice. I haven't weathered this yet so it's still very very uh, very very clean but but look how how delicate those parts are they, they are really really nice so I think it's uh, I was a little bit worried about the strength of this uh, when I put in the and the nose weight, but I think it's going to hold up. I don't think I don't see it bending or something like that. It looks it looks good. So uh, thank you for watching, guys. Um, I will proceed with this build. Uh, put uh, the rest of the fuselage together, start masking it up, and prepare it for paint. So maybe that that will be the next uh, episode. Uh, completing the build and uh, start painting. So, see you later. Uh, happy modeling and uh, yeah, thanks for watching.